All right, so this is the inside of our van. It's a Dodge 2007 2500 144 width. So uh, it came with all seats, so we took out all the seats uh, and we built this out with cardboard first to kind of get an idea of how we wanted the layout to be. Uh, and it just being Becky and I, we wanted to keep it nice and simple, uh, easy to get to all the gear and the stuff that we need to immediately without opening drawers. And so we went to Ikea and we tried to find some totes or just something that we can build around. And so that's how we built these. These are just from Ikea. We kind of used these as a template to build our first unit. We made all of this out of ply, three quarter inch ply. All right, so these little, these Ikea slides were perfect. They're easy to come in and out. We just built them on these little sliders here, so they come in and out. Now we have had a couple issues where uh, we take corners too tight or too fast and they fall out. Now we haven't done anything to keep that from happening. Uh, we've put these little things in there for now, but we'll end up putting like a little, uh, little notch or something right here, maybe a little button or a pin to keep them in from uh, sliding it out. But for the most part, they stay in pretty well. We were originally gonna put full cupboard system here, but we're glad that we didn't and we ran out of time and we just ended up doing this because we're going in and out of these things constantly. So for us to be moving around in here and getting to things quickly, it makes it a lot easier and simpler when we just can just pull them out, grab the stuff, and then get going, rather than trying to fumble with uh, with like cupboards and stuff like that. So it kind of opens up the space uh, a little easier. In the center here, we got our pots and pans. We got our plates, our cups, our bowls. Up here, we got some of our books and uh, our bar, which is just an empty barrel right now. Also, these guys, these little things, these little white mats, are key. They keep things from sliding all over the place. So we've had it up here on top of the shelf before and we've had something up there and we just set it up there and it does not move. So these things are key if you want to keep things from slipping. All right, so moving back towards the bed area, we have some more miscellaneous type uh, storage space. So again, this will change throughout. So we have some blankets, extra pillows, we got a hammock. Um, and then below we have our goal zero, which ours are computers and our camera gear and our phones and stuff like that. All right, so to talk about our solar system, we have the Goal Zero, uh, the Yeti 400, and we have a 240 watt single panel on our roof. We'll show you that in a second, it's huge. But when we did hook it up, we found out that it was way too much power for the Goal Zero, so we had to get a charge controller. So the solar goes into the charge controller and then the charge controller into the Goal Zero. It works perfectly fine. We got more than enough solar on top to keep this thing powered up. And uh, like I said earlier, it runs our laptops, our phones, we recharge our batteries. Now it wouldn't run a refrigerator or anything like that, so uh, for the most part we just use it to recharge a lot of our other stuff. Um, and then also the lights up above, the little Christmas lights. So it works perfect for the needs that we have right now. Yeah, so we're happy with it. And then on this side, all right, so this is our where our pantry is for the most part, and then we got our shoes storage down here. If you don't have Crocs in a van, you don't have Crocs <laughs> in a van. <laughs> Again, we got some more storage back here, the same size totes, so. All right, under here, under the bed, we have our dressers. His and hers, of course. This is mine, this is Becky's, hers is bigger. What's nice about these, they're mobile, so uh, it's easy to move them around and take them out or if we need to make some more space or whatever. So it's very convenient to have them right here. And this is all we need, so uh, it worked out pretty good. In the back, we've got some totes, and we access those from the back side, which is our garage, which we'll show you in a second. But for the most part, this is where we keep all of our stuff right here, so all of our clothes and everything. And then and we have it just blocked by these nice little curtains. And also, this thing right here comes out. So this itself is a separate piece, which I'll show you in a little bit, which is like a, a couch, in our couch mode uh, when we move the bed around. But for now, we have to keep the support in there whenever we're sleeping. All right, so our bed is a full-size bed, and we're able to sleep this way. We see a lot of vans that people sleep this way, 
but luckily because we have the windows here we gain about two inches on each side so I can actually fit full length and be uh, pretty comfortable unless I have a bad dream and I kick out this window but that doesn't happen and then Becky can sleep perfectly fine and comfortable on here um, but our mattress itself we got from Amazon it's a, a four inch foam mattress and it's super comfortable and it folds up in three sections so uh, when I show you how we can change this into like a couch mode it makes it very convenient and also if we needed to fold this thing up and move it out or whatever um, it's really nice but it's very comfortable and it fits perfectly in here yeah it works great just on Amazon so all right so the big white thing above us here is the air conditioning unit we actually have an air conditioning unit on top which is pretty standard in commercial type passenger vehicles or vans. We very rarely use it. We actually have, we've had a leak in this thing a number of times, but not because of the air conditioning, but because of the rain. Uh, but anyways, this is the whole unit. Uh, we've been debating if we're gonna take it off or not, but we can run AC back here and heat. So it is nice, it kind of, uh, it's a little bit lower for me, but it's still perfectly fine. And we actually painted this thing white using uh, Plasti Dip spray paint, which is working out pretty well. And then we just strung lights around it. Um, and these are just your basic Christmas lights. And we just run a cord from here down to our goal zero. And that's how we power our lights. And then we also put like little puck lights in here. So little push button lights. We got these from Costco. This is usually where the air conditioning little vent is supposed to be, but these things fit perfectly in there. So we just popped them out. Put them up there, and so when we're not running these big lights off the goal zero, we can conserve energy and use these little puck lights, uh, kind of like a night light. So if we ever get up in the middle of the night, we just pop those, thing, pop those things on, and then we can move around. All right, so you're probably noticing all the maps on our ceiling. Uh, when we were building this thing out, we were trying to decide what we we're going to do with the standard stock headliners, and we we're kind of coming down to the wire in terms of when we wanted to leave on our trip and trying to get this thing done so i had originally cut wood and i was gonna put a whole wood thing up here and then last minute we decided to throw a whole bunch of maps up here most of these maps are for uh, it's kind of like a lot of the places that we went on one of our uh, bigger trips and so we have one of all of united states national parks it's utah oregon idaho montana wyoming california um so it's nice these are actually both functional and stylish we like it all right so this is the front of the van and we were going to do storage up top but we decided not uh one again because of time and two we wanted more space so when we get up and back because we're constantly going in and out of this i we rarely use these doors we're always coming back here and then open up the side door and going out that way but we store everything from our glasses our hats books honey sticks nice little storage area and then up front obviously you got the dash wide open you might be noticing this these guys right here so what we put in here was this is our curtain so when we get to a location and we're setting up we put this together all right so then we just we basically just put a drape over this and or a towel and this kind of separates the back and so no one can see in. We did do reflectix up front, but it was kind of a pain to take in and out. This was a much easier solution. And we also hang towels and dry towels on this on the inside while we're out um, exploring. So it's a nice little function. Uh, probably need to support a little bit better, but you get the point. All right, so this is one of our, one of two ices that we have on our, um, in our van. This is what we keep kind of like the things that we need on a more regular basis so snacks and drinks and snacks drinks and then in the back we have another bigger one that's more of our refrigerator we don't have an actual refrigerator in here um, right now so we just have a bigger version of this thing in the back which i'll show you in a second behind the driver's seat we store our table and chairs so this is our small little table here We've got four legs just screw them in, bring out the chairs, and we set it up right here in the middle. And we use this when it's too cold outside and we just want to get outside of the elements and just sit in here. We play cards, we eat dinner, we work on it. Um, so it's a nice little convenient storage place and nice and compact. 
All right, so setting up our little table. Got these basically pre-made at, uh, basically pre-made, they are pre-made at Home Depot. Nice little attachments, just in. Boom, your table. Look at that. We even got little pads that we never used. But worked. Alright, so the flooring that we put in here is a like heavy duty matte flooring, kind of industrial grade. It's used for like trade shows. And uh, our good friend, our best friend, Nick Holmes, got it for us. And so it was a big roll. We basically took out the original sheet and then we put this uh, the original sheet on top of this one and then trace it out and then cut it up and it fit perfectly so we like it a lot it does get a little bit hot when it gets direct sun but we like it because we can easily sweep it out get, keep it clean it's dirty now but um, it's really rugged and stuff so we're constantly going in and out and um, yeah it just worked out so as you can see the big 240 watt single panel is a little bigger than the van but uh, we made it work keeps the back end down when we're you know, hitting hyperspeed of 72 miles per hour. It's held up in high winds, so we're good. Another nice little feature to have in your van is a nice mat. So this is just basic turf that we got, actually we're just sitting around, that we utilize and just roll it up and it's perfect. So when we're in dirty places, we come in here, just push our feet off and jump in. All right, check out the garage in the back. This is the garage area, storage area, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it's kind of a mess. But this is basically where we keep all of our gear, the things that we don't use on a more regular basis. So we got our, our packs, our day packs. We got some more totes back here for some more camping gear. We got our uh, two burner stove. We got tools. We got security uh, security cabinet, security box here to keep some of the our stuff if we're going on a long trip outside the van. Blanket, umbrella, nice easy camp chairs, fishing poles, and this is the other big Pelican case that I was telling you about, big Pelican cooler that I was telling you about that's our, our refrigerator for now. Keep things cold up to about five to seven days depending on how much you're using it. And then these are our eclectics. This is what we put on the windows when we are setting up camp. Again, it's just more of a garage. We just kind of threw everything back in here. Uh, the one thing that we do wish we had and we will build is a big pull out drawer that we can uh, put all this stuff on and access it nice and uh, easy. Alright so now we're going to put our bed into couch mode. Alright couch mode all right, so what's nice about the couch mode is that we just gain about, I don't know, three, three and a half feet of space in here. So now we got a lot more room to move around and uh, set up and work and we can have a nice comfortable couch. So let me show you how this is set up here. All right, so we got a strap system utilizing, these were originally in here for the seat belts. And so we we're just using some tie downs and then so we tie that down to keep the back support in place. All right, so that's the couch mode on the inside. Now we made it so that you're gonna do couch mode on the outside so that you can actually open up the doors and look out the back. So I'll go ahead and do that now. All right, so this is the back piece of the couch, which is the one of the center pieces to the bed when it's laying down, um, which fills this gap right here. So we made it so that these little straps can come in and off. So when it's in bed mode, put that down and it fits right between the gap. And then when we're using the couch, these pull out here. Put these guys out. So that becomes the back support to the couch. Couch mode. Now, we find a nice little spot to post up, put it in this mode, you get this beautiful view, 
nice and comfortable. Not bad. All right, that's it. That's the van. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Um, we're back on the road now. If you want to check out some more of our videos, check out our channel. See us on the road. Say hi.